Good morning. I just want to make a note to self actually because this is uh, something seldom required but it saves a lot of time when you need it. Apologies, I've got a bit of a cold this morning. So basically what do we want to do? Um, in After Effects here, if I just scrub the timeline, you can see I've got this blur effect on there. And all that is is a radial blur on that little PNG logo. But it's quite an effective little um, effect and I want to repeat that. Now you don't really want to be copying and pasting keyframes especially for something like that because if you get out of sync it's just time and it feels very inefficient so you've got a better way of doing that. Um, what we want to do is also have this as a transparent overlay that we're going to use in um, Premiere later. So that's why we haven't got the other layers selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and composition, make movie. Now I've got some presets. Let's just apple or remove those. Go back. Do it again. That's Apple M to do the make movie. Um, for this, the resolution, I want it to be half because I actually want it to be 1080p. That's what I'm going to make this movie at. This is a 4K original. Um, I don't need any audio on this. Um, and you know what? I really want to do this as a lossless. And I want to output it to small. Just got some RAM previews in here. This is the one that I'm doing. I've got my mov there that's going to be my looping um, lossless. And I've already done one and it's not quite right, so I'm just going to replace it, which interestingly is going to replace this one in here. So it's going to kind of update itself. So all I'm doing is rendering out. A small section which is the working bar which is five seconds worth of this looping animation. The actual animation starts, blurs, holds in a blur position and then comes out. But I've got this tail here and that tail is so that it doesn't just keep going, going, going and get very annoying. And I'm actually thinking that I'm going to make that even more because I really don't want it to detract from the actual movie but it's just a cool thing that that happens now and again so I I would just lengthen that tail to make that happen so let's go ahead and render that now yeah and we'll see that that what happens with that here's key also, uh, here we go. This is the expression you need. Um, and basically, the, you set the length of this composition to how long you want that clip looping. And as you can see here, although it's the wrong size, it's actually doing the looping for you. So, I've just kind of changed this composition settings to... That looks better now. Um, so as you can see, now it's looping correctly. And I've set this composition time for about 3 minutes 45. Um, that's what was set. But I'm going to go ahead and give myself a bigger, a bigger, area, a bigger time. Um, so you go into composition settings. Here you can see it's set for almost four minutes. I'm going to set that to six minutes. You can see now we've got our little time stretcher. And this is how you just <clears throat> extend that to the full length of the movie. And, and so what happens now is we've just got our six minute 
So here we've got our composition. We've got six minutes on the clock for that, and it's basically our looping animation. The beauty is here, we've only set two keyframes, actually, I don't believe we, uh, Yeah, when we had the time remap, basically <clears throat> these two keyframes represent the start and the end of what we made in our previous composition. That actually, this is actually four keyframes in the previous composition. So how After Effects does it, it needs two to represent what's going to be looped. So this, just accept that and accept that expression and uh, play around, yeah. So we put six minutes on there as we want roughly about six minutes in Premiere. Now it really doesn't have to be exact because in Premiere you can stretch the clip or cut the clip. Um, so you've got a lot of flexibility. The only time it's a problem is when, when you would have, as in our original animation, you've got like two, well, half a second um, of something and you need to copy and paste that loads of times that's why you're doing this is to save all of that that time and, and the mistakes that you might make so let the loop out do all of the work um, and just give yourself a nice long tail and then let Premiere um, do its job in either cutting that short or you can you can uh, yeah the one thing you can't do is obviously stretch it beyond its its uh, original length so if I had a movie that was seven minutes in Premiere, I'd want this to be seven, or I just copy this again and then clip clip, clip it at the one second mark for the second piece. So I would need two, but copying and pasting something in Premiere twice is really no big deal, so that's all I'm saying. And you're probably going to be changing the duration a lot in Premiere, so you won't really know the exact duration at this point. So just give yourself plenty of time is what I'd say. Go over over. So if you think your movie is going to be four minutes in Premiere, make this uh, a four minute, um, make this a six minute thing. So in that way, you'll uh, you'll have enough and in Premiere you'll just be able to trim it. So hit Apple M when you're ready. Um, we want to change best settings. So we want full resolution here, work area only. That's what we want, and we want to be, not that, we want lossless with alpha. That is going to give you a bigger file the longer you render it, so don't go stupid, but just give yourself enough. Save. So this one's going to take longer to render out. Um, it's unfortunate that it doesn't kind of work out that it's going to be exactly the same frames. It still goes through and, and works them out. It's not smart enough to say, well, at least in this version, it's not smart enough to say, well, you know, you've done a looping thing here. Why, you know, just just repeat. Don't calculate the whole set of pixels again. But there we go. So that's going to render out. And uh, she'll see you then in Premiere for working with that. So here we are. I've just um, <clears throat> added this um, aerial video clip of uh, Antigua's countryside into Premiere as video one. Um, I've hidden the audio, which um, is going to be replaced after anyway. But um, this is our new looping movie imported. Um, at the correct frame rate um, with our alpha channel. So I'm just going to drop that in over top. And notice the duration is what I was banging on about before, six minutes. Um, looks like my movie is only going to be three minutes, but this is, I can just do this and we're done. So that gives me the opportunity to just 
copy it as well. If if I wanted uh, a much longer movie, I can just copy that as many times as I want. But um, for now, this is um, this is perfect. So you can see it looping there, still looping. If I press play, it just selects some of that. Just doing a test. You get the blur effect, and a um, fair bit of jello going on in this footage today, but um, it's not a particularly great piece of footage, but it does actually show a, a different side to Antigua, which is why I'm actually going to bother to render it and upload it. Um, FYI, this is um, a donkey sanctuary, which is quite a popular tourist attraction in Antigua. And this this road is an interesting little drive if you like getting out and off the tourist track then this is this is an interesting spot. It's a very arable part of the country um, and seeing fields and, and and countryside in a foreign country I find quite interesting so I thought it was a, an interesting video that I wanted to make um, and I wanted to get my um, logo in and everything else. So I'm not going to do a hell of a lot more to this video pick some music and um, and just work it like that but um, I might post a link to the finished video at the end so you can see that but this was just a tutorial to show how to bring in a looping clip to um, and do that in Premiere so and that's the perfect way that you should be using um, After Effects so After Effects is to make these um, these things like assets and stuff like that. It, I could, for example, and did start out rendering the whole, you can make a whole video in After Effects for sure, like I could make this whole thing um, in here, but it does get quite painful um, and convoluted when you're trying to um, do big edits in, in After Effects. It's not principally designed to render out big um, movies. That's what Premiere is for and Premiere is to, to handle the audio and things like that. So that's that's also where you'll have problems with um, After Effects is kind of laying down audio tracks on top. Not problems. You can do you can do everything um, but it's just easier in Premiere. Premiere was designed for that so using the two in harmony is much better. So in summary basically we took um, we took our slice of our animation which was we wanted seven seconds that's not actually what we animated this is this was the main composition but we took a small composition from that and looped it for our six minutes and and we used this on an expression of a time remap so we kept cycling it with that expression and you would just do that from time remap animation um, add you'd have add expression here and then just literally click in there and type that so yeah hopefully you found some some tips in here and, um, and enjoyed this video please do share it, it makes a massive difference to all us people um, sharing and um, helping us to keep making more videos because otherwise we stop because honestly YouTube don't give us nothing and it's so annoying when you see all these ads people are putting on videos they're not making anything from it unless they're unless they go viral and they go into the millions um, Google slash YouTube so stingy with what they give back for us giving them all their all of that wonderful content I think we've got a bit of a raw end to the deal but still we do it so vital that you try and help us to get more and more clicks so that we can make some pocket money from, from this. Um, I do it because I quite enjoy the challenge of making good videos anyway. So, uh, But thanks, hope you like the channel. It's a bit random and varied at the moment. Um, not settled into any one particular subject, which can also be an interesting thing. So, all right, hope your day is good and I hope this helped in some way. Take care and good health. Bye.